Good morning. My name is Meg Gilster, and I've been a parishioner here for six years. Um, I am one of 11 children, so my memories of Lent as a child were all about Easter. They were about Easter baskets and my own chocolate bunny. Um, as I grew up, it was more about Christ and about what he did on the cross for our salvation. So um, it was, Lent has always been a way to remind me of his suffering and his death and to share in that so that we can share in his, the celebration of his resurrection and our hope for eternal life. Um, I have always felt like Christmas is hijacked by the rest of society. I don't know if anyone else feels the same way, but I also feel like Easter is strictly a Christian holiday. Um, and as a Catholic, I feel like Lent is ours. It's our way to celebrate what Christ has done for us. So once I had children, I wanted to incorporate this into their lives. I wanted to share with them um, what I knew and what I'd learned and how I had lived. When they were young, we used to have Easter parties every year. And we invited all of our friends, Catholic, not Catholic, whatever, and shared um, brunch together. And then had I read the story of the Easter, the Easter story, to the kids while all the parents hid Easter eggs in our backyard. And we had a big celebration. And that was kind of a treat. Um, as they got older, we talked about things that we wanted to do during Ash, but the week before Ash Wednesday, we usually discussed what we wanted to do for Lent, what we were going to give up or what we were going to do. And it became a challenge to each one of us to think about how we were going to spend this time. Um, when my daughter was four years old, my oldest, she wanted to do Easter baskets for poor kids. And so she went around the neighborhood selling pictures that she had made and collected money. And we ended up with a truck or a van full of Easter baskets that we gave out to a local charity or we dropped off at a local charity. And it is truly amazing how much money people will give to a four-year-old for Easter baskets, but it was really sweet. As the years went on, the challenges got bigger. They were, you know, giving up chocolate or giving up desserts. They were doing push-ups. And one of my favorite years was my, when my son he was probably in fourth or fifth grade. And he decided that he was going to do the rosary every day. Now, the rosary is one of my favorite prayers, <laughs> so it did my heart good. But every night when he climbed into bed, he brought out his rosary and his pamphlet, and he would pray the rosary every day. And it was amazing after um, 40 days of this how much he memorized. He knew all the words of all the prayers, and he knew all the mysteries. And he would just go from one to the next. and. Um, just was a sweet time for him to watch him. Um, and usually he finished it, but sometimes he fell asleep with it on his chest and he'd complete it in the morning. So I just was like, what a testament this is to Psalm 119, which asks us to treasure his word in our heart. For me, Lent is a time to reflect on all of these things. It's a time to think about what Christ has done for us so that we too can share in his, um, resurrection and the salvation that is your gift to us. So I ask that you would um, just cherish this time, spend time with Christ, spend time in prayer, and um, have a sweet Lent.